Hello, my beautiful collective. I am back with my dry humor. Uh, let's see what in the name of source is going on out here. So for some of you, or whoever this message resonates with, you have success coming your way. So you've been working really hard towards a goal. Um, there is some privileged woman or a group that are wanting to cause you some type of mental conflict. It's like they want you to be confused about the path that you are taking in life and you are on the right path, says spirit. Uh, you are um, you are absolutely on the right path. These people are intimidated by you. They feel threatened by you. It is because the field that you want to get in is something that they are a part of, but they know you are better at it than they are. They know that you are powerful, so they are intimidated by you and want to put an end to your career before it even takes off the ground. So this is what we're facing today in this reading. So let's get into the goodness and the juiciness <laughs> of this reading, okay? So you are someone very uh, abundant, very blessed very prosperous, loved by the divine. You're showing up here as the star sea as well, queen of cups. So you are someone extremely abundant and favored by the most high. People want you to feel men mentally conflicted about the path that you are choosing in life, right? So they want, they may want to come in and give you some type of uh, underhand offer so that you can feel conflicted. But when they come in, they're going to make it look like it's your dream come true. It is absolutely not. The path that you are working on is the one that you are supposed to be on. Okay, so don't let anyone mentally conflict you. People want to come in and cause you distress, cause you confusion. Spirit is saying that you need to stand your ground because they are backing you up. These are people that are well connected. This is like these are like people who you know they will invest in cell phone companies. So if they want to have access to your cell phone, they can just call the cell phone company up and get that information, technology, cybersecurity. Uh, so they have people that are skilled in getting your information when they want to right but there's something about you where you are heavily protected by your ancestors the universe your angels you are heavily protected and these people are having a hard time getting physical a physical handle of you so they are doing things around you infiltrating your space your privacy they are you know bribing people behind the scenes your neighbors the maintenance people um just everybody even if they have to bribe a stranger to get something about you they are going to do that or a stranger to come towards you and say something or give you some type of letter to cause you some type of mental distress or emotional distress they're going to do that. These people want you living in anxiety. They don't want you feeling at ease. They don't want you feeling feeling comfortable doing whatever it is that you are doing. It's like they want you to feel like you are making a bad choice, making the wrong choice by constantly doing what it is you're doing. So they want to discourage you. And this is because they know that you know the truth about them. So this is like an institution or a corporation, a coven there has some type of influence. It could be statewide, countrywide, nationwide, worldwide. Um, and they present themselves in a specific light to the public. But behind closed doors, these are demons that serve demonic entities. Um, the other night when I was sleeping, um, I had a dream um, where someone went to like the water to make some type of offering and things like that. And I woke up and I said, well, if someone is uh, calling on a water deity, to send me any type of energy honey i am well connected so it's like you're going to my ancestors to ask them to do something to me and it's not going to happen because they're probably looking at you like you're crazy um this is kind of like going to isis and asking isis to come after isis honey come on now um it don't work that way right so they want you to feel mentally conflicted they want you to feel afraid insecure they don't like the fact that you're confident in what it is you're doing and that is because most of these people were broken before they even had the opportunity or the chance to decide what it is they wanted in life for themselves because they were trapped in this uh, institution this coven this enterprise um this is like you know you start working for a company at a really young age in your teenage years um and time goes on you don't realize you are slowly being groomed to be a member of a coven before you realize it they're telling you wear family family look out for each other you do this for your family before long you're participating in activities that you probably will not have participated in if you have never had an interaction with this company there is something about you star c that these people just cannot uh, uh, mold into what it is that they want it's like they want you to be one of them 
They want you to join their coven, their enterprise, but you cannot because you are specifically created to dismantle these types of creation, the 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 cult like mentality, the coven like mentality, these darkness, these dark uh, workers of iniquities and things like that. Your purpose is to dismantle them. You are fighting a battle against principalities. So this is not something that you can just wake up and say, well, you know what? I'm tired of going up against these people. There are so many of them. They are all over the city, all over the uh, country, um, all over the world. How am I going to, you know, face all of these people, that is you having no faith, okay? You need to trust that the universe is watching over you. If the universe allowed you to incarnate for the purpose of dismantling coats and covens, you best believe that you are secure. So there's nothing these people can do to destroy you in any way, shape, or form. All they can do is manipulate around you, but they cannot touch you. And the fact that they cannot touch you is something that pisses them off because they've done this to numerous other beings. They've destroyed other lives time after time, but you are the one life that they have not been able to destroy. You are the one life that they have not been able to trap and they will never be able to trap you. These people are planning something behind the scenes to get you involved in some type of legal situations that has absolutely nothing to do with you. So this is like taking the queen of cups and saying that she stole some money. She did this to someone. She unalived somebody which is unbelievable in a million years but these people may be putting things in place to make it look like you did something illegal when you didn't you could be someone that literally goes to work and come home take care of your family and mind your business but these people want to make you seem criminal they have connections in the police department they have connections in politics they have connections all over so they want you to know that they are well connected so there are eyes on you honey at this point you might as well be the president or the first lady because you have security around you 24 7. you may have cameras watching you you have eyes on you at all times and it doesn't matter how many eyes they have on you they cannot find nothing out on you they're trying to find something incriminating right to get to get you locked up and then while you are locked up, someone is going to come in and say, well, you know, I know you are in like a fender bender. Um, they said that your bill is a million dollars. I know you don't have a million dollars, but I can help you, you know, uh, pay that off. Um, and then you are like, oh, my gosh, thank you so much. I had no idea where I was going to get that million dollars from. I probably was going to be living here for the rest of my life because I do not have a million dollars to pay my, uh, my bill, right? Um, but little do you know, when they pay that million dollars, when you get out, you belong to them now, right? So when something comes up that they need you to do, they're going to say, hey, sweetheart, remember when I helped you pay that million dollars? Yeah, um, I need you to do a little favor for me, okay? Now they have you sleeping around, now they have you, you know, on the and people, poisoning people and things like that. Uh, and this, these are all activities these people are in behind closed doors where they sleep with each other, each other partners. They sell themselves for money and things like that. These people are into some dark work. And these are things that they have to do in order to be part of this group, this karmic group, this toxic group. And again, we are not here to judge, but we are just bringing light to what is actually going on, right? Let's remember, this is all for entertainment purposes. I am a storyteller, so please... <laughs> Please keep that in mind. But with a lot of these types of groups, these covens, these are the things that they indulge in. Unhealthy sexual activities, they lay with anyone, and this is because they've been groomed to do this. This is because they've been, you know, uh, taken advantage of at a very young age. So all they know is what they are participating in. So it's not that these are, some of these people are unsavable, it's just like that they've been in this lifestyle for so long they don't know any other lifestyle so if you come about and tell them hey don't do that with yourself you deserve better they'll think that you think you're better than them when that's not really the case you're just trying to remind them that they are worth more much more than what this group is having them indulge in right so this is the whole situation we have going on someone this whole group they are wanting you to walk away from your future and they are going to make this extreme 
extremely difficult for you, your work that you are doing. And mind you, this is your purpose. And because they know that this is your purpose and you are great at it and you are better at it than they are and will ever be, they are going to make this extremely hard for you. But spirit is telling you to stand your ground and keep going because you are protected. You are living in your purpose. You are here to heal and to dis dismantle darkness. And this group is one that is extremely dark, right? So they want you living in fear, confusion. See that we have the eight of cups here in the reverse position. And then it's followed by the moon. And then the seven of swords, that is extremely alarming. This means that these people want you to be emotionally imbalanced, mentally imbalanced. They want you to be a criminal. They want to get you involved in things that you are absolutely not here to be participating in. This will be like you becoming a falling angel right like lucifer the story they tell about him now we don't know how accurate the story is about lucifer since his name does mean the bringer of light but if we are going to use the story that they tell us about lucifer they want you to become a fallen angel so you can be one of them that way you will feel comfortable participating in the nonsense that they participate in these are people that are extremely greedy and this is all they care about there these people like any type of emotional uh traits they're a void of human emotions basically all they care about is money so even the people that are within this institution this coven this cult they are just another number right another person so if they do something that the head or the uh, the heads of this coat does not like, they can be gone in a heartbeat, right? So that should let you know when you are part of something and you can just be easily taken care of, that should let you know that you are in the wrong place with the wrong people, right? These people aren't thinking like that. They are not rationalizing that, right? Because they've been doing this for so long, they think everybody else are the dummies and they are the ones in the right okay let's leave that at that so they want you living in fear they do not want you feeling certain or confident about what it is you're doing or about yourself it's like they want to mentally break you emotionally break you they just want you to be unhealthy these types of groups these types of people they don't like confident people they don't like people that love themselves they don't like people that bring beauty into the world they don't like healed people they don't like people that are uh, people that heal other people so you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness this is what this is um so they want you living in fear with the moon out here but they know you are someone extremely intuitive so you know the truth about these people and there's nothing they can hide from you while they may be able to hide themselves from the rest of the world you not so much you know them you see them for exactly who they are you don't play around the bush beat around the bush with these people you see them for who they are and they know you see them and they are pissed off about that. Some of them may want to come and say, oh, okay, we know you know who we are. You know the truth about us. But we want to give you this to keep your mouth shut for some of you. Don't do it because you are here on a mission for the most high. You incarnated in this lifetime, again, to dismantle covens, to dismantle the kingdom of darkness. There are many people out here that preach the word of God. But when these types of people come towards them and give them a million dollars, they take it in a heartbeat because they've never seen a million dollars before at once. They've never seen a check that big before. So they sell them their souls immediately for a million dollars, not realizing that they just trapped themselves in something because that million dollars comes with other things. Okay, so you're not just giving your silence, you are giving yourself over to the devil and the devil can call on you at any time to do what it is that it wants you to do or they want you to do. Because remember, the devil is an energy, it is not a person. The devil is an energy that people embody and personify. So your confidence is a problem for these people. They want to come in and steal that from you, your joy, your happiness, your peace, your abundance, because you are someone abundant. You're showing up here as the star seed you're showing up here as the queen of cups
You are abundant and this is how you are meant to be. But these people don't want you living in abundance, right? It's that you, it's that you're someone that's meant to be like living a privileged lifestyle, but these people want you living in the gutter because they know if you're living in the gutter, you'll never have the chance to do or carry out your purpose in the world. So this is what it is. Someone in here has been guided to see things from a higher perspective. They may have been, they may have intended to come towards you to give you some type of uh, false offer, false commitment, and things like that. They're taking themselves out of this situation. There's something here with a King of Cups, right? This King of Cups may have accepted some type of offer to cause you a betrayal, leave you out in the cold, have you put out of a home. Uh, this person has some type of ending coming for them. This person is having a lot of nightmares about an action they took with a family, right? To prevent two people from coming together. Who? That's a lot. A king of cups. Usually the king of cups has to do with people that are loyal. People that are loving, kind, down to earth, family focused, family friendly, things like that. Dreamers, um, right? Passionate about life. And he's here interfering with family dynamics love he's interfering with love for all for god's sake the one thing he stands for he's interfering with it so this is obviously a king of cups in the reverse because he's dishonoring the very characteristic that makes him who he is this person may be losing a home losing his connection to some institution there is something that he did that is hunting him and he may have partnered up with a group of people to bring some type of ending um there is also a king of you know what? There are a lot of masculines showing up in here. So it said that there are a few there are a few masculines interested in you, Starcy. And a lot of these masculines are not even worth your time because they're part of this nonsense. I see a King of Pentacles in here that you may have a soul contract with. Um, but the rest of these masculines, I'm not getting a good feeling about. So we have the King of Wands in here. This person may have found some type of passion in life to protect you. This is probably like a hidden figure behind the scenes. This person sees you as angelic. They know that you are protected. So there's really nothing that these people can do, no matter how connected they are, no matter how much money they have. It doesn't matter how they get your information, what they know about you. This person is coming into some knowledge that there is nothing they can do because these people have been coming after you for a while now. This is like you maybe living in a gated community and they keep sending people to your home to unalive you or do something to you. But every time they get to the gate, they cannot go past it because there's someone telling them that they need to get off the property because they do not stay there. They're trespassing, things of that nature. It's like these people think they can just blend in. And that's something a lot of dark workers don't understand. They try to mask their energy. But if you're someone like me, it's when I feel dark workers energy and they're trying to mask it, it's equivalent for me, it's equivalent to having a rainbow. And then there's like a, in the middle of the rainbow, a big thick black mark just lands in the middle of it, but I'm supposed to pretend not to see it. I, I don't have any other choice, ma'am, sir. I see you. So this is what it is, right? Um, this person knows that you are someone protected. You have your angels around you. You are someone protected 24-7. And this is because you are very high ranking in the spirit realm. You could be an angel yourself. You could be an ascended master. You are someone extremely high ranking. And this is why these people are having a hard time uh, 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 destroying you. Uh, and also you have a direct connection to source. So immediately when something is wrong, source is alerted because source can feel your emotions, your whatever planet you're from, they know something is wrong when your emotions start, you know, kind of uh, uh, activating and things like that. If you get worried, you feel afraid or anything like that, even if you're done, you still have eyes on you 24-7. So it's like, you know, you have these cormics watching you 24-7 and then you have the universe and your people watching you 24-7. So you are like the safest person in the universe. <laughs> 
you are extremely safe. It, that's how you need to view it. All these karmics watching you, you should be like, well, I have a babysitter, so um, that's great. Like, I should feel safe because I have these people watching me all day. And then I have my ancestors, my angels, and the universe watching over me as well. So I feel secure. I should be able to walk and go anywhere I want in the world with no problem, right? Um, someone knows that you are extremely gifted. Someone knows you are extremely wise. Uh, someone may have gone and, uh, and received some type of advice. Someone is aware of some type of plan to trap you. Um, or to even trap a, a, a king of pentacles. Someone is extremely pissed off that a king of pentacles does not want to work with them. It may be this group. It's like maybe they offered him money because this is what they do. They offer people money and then people start working for them and carrying out these devious plans and things like that. Um, but someone is stuck in their head, right, about something they participated in. This king of pentacles may have done something in the past as well. Or he may just be living in some type of delusion as well. Maybe he thinks you're safe. You may not be safe. There is something going on. People are feeling really pissed off in this group that this person wants to partner up with you. It's almost as though for some of you, they approached this masculine and told him that he needed to do something with you. If you work for this masculine, it was for him to fire you. If you were in a relationship for this with this masculine, it was for him to leave you out in the cold, uh, break up with you. Um, if you lived in a property that this masculine owned, they were wanting him to put you out of the property. Um, and something these people will do as well is because they're so abundant, I guess, in money. Um, they will, if you, let's say you live in like an apartment complex or a condo, a, con, a, a duplex or something, they will invest in their company so that they can have a say in what happens to the residents, right? So maybe behind the scenes, they've been trying to encourage the landlord. They've been gently encouraging the landlord to put you out of your home so that you can be in a state of destitute and then they can come and approach you and make you an offer that you cannot afford to turn down. And then blah, say, blah, see, bada bing, bada boom. You are trapped in something that you cannot get out of. You're now a fallen angel. Your your enemy your 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 um angels, your guardian your guardian angels, your people, they have left you because now you are part of something that you agreed to but you did not. Um, so make sure you stay close to source, maintain that strong relationship you have with source with me. You know, my relationship with the most high and my children are the most important thing to me. I do not have any type of uh, uh, attachment to anything outside of those two group source and my children. That's it. Whether it's a car, a house, boat, yacht, whatever it is, I don't have any attachments to them. They're here today. If I need to leave them where they are, I would do exactly that. I don't care. Okay, those are all material things. When I'm dying, I'm not going to be able to take any of those things with me into the uh, afterlife. Unfortunately, my ancestors from the past, Egyptians, they thought they would have all of those luxurious things in with them in the afterlife. That's not how it works because in the afterlife, you can imagine whatever you want to live a comfortable life until you realize that that's not where you're really supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a higher place with source, right? So that's like a mediocre mindset where you think like, you know, you having possessions with you when you pass away that you're going to have it in the afterlife. Obviously, those things are not coming with you. Everything is alive in some way, shape or form on its own vibration, but it's not coming with you, honey. Sorry to tell you that. Okay. So this King of Swords sees you as a blessing. He's inspired by you. He sees you as a bit of a dreamer. He has a lot of passion for you. This person may want to communicate with you about some type of event that's going on or something that has to do with abundance as well. There is some type of heartbreak going on in here. Um, for some of you, they may be sending a king of a king of pentacles. I think I said king of swords earlier, but I meant the king of pentacles. The, they may be sending in a king of pentacles to cause you some type of illusion. It's like these people want to invite you to some type of celebration, some type of outing, just so they can embarrass you, uh, uh, cause you some type of shame, make you feel outcasted and things like this. So just be wary of the... Uh, uh, um, 
invitations that you receive um, for the next few months and things like that, or even the next year. Um, there, there's some type of ulterior motive to it for some of you. And for others of you, um, there is something in here where people are heartbroken because you are as receiving the abundance that is yours. So these people have been trying to prevent you from receiving uh, getting a hold of something that belongs to you anyways. Um, so they've been doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement and you coming into contact with this abundance that does belong to you. Um, so they are heartbroken that you are still going to receive it. These people may have pulled up some type of trick to steal something from you, to steal this abundance from you. And now they are heartbroken because they have to give it back to you. Uh, so someone here went to a high priestess to get a reading this is what these people do and that should let you know how ungifted and untalented these people are when they have to go to a third party to get the truth about the situation right so someone here went to a, a high priestess or multiple people in here went to a high priestess to get a reading to see if they could do anything to block you right and they cannot they can try they will keep trying to betray you. They will keep trying to cause you endings and things like that. And this is what they're planning to do. Your work that you are doing, they're going to keep interfering with it. But you are going to be a-okay. You may have experienced some type of ending, some type of loss and things like that. But what it is you're meant to do, you will do. You will fulfill your purpose, which includes dismantling this coat. By the time all of this is over, some of these people will be locked up. Their luxurious lifestyles that they are entitled to will be nothing but a memory. These people have endings coming for them that they cannot even imagine. And a lot of the times we readers, we tell these karmics this, these dark workers this, and they Take it in one ear and out the other until the day comes that they are experiencing exactly what we told them that they were going to be experiencing. So these people have a lot of endings coming for them. Death, illnesses, uh, divorces, unemployment, uh, repossessions, all of these things are coming for these people. And regardless, they are still going to keep trying to destroy you because this is how these types of people are built because all they care about is money right and the very thing they care about is what they're going to be liking in the near future uh, so let's do our little recap because i enjoy doing my recap you are someone abundant the, someone was supposed to come in and give you some type of false commitment and things like that, but they were guided to go within um, and not do what it is they intended to do. Someone knows the truth about a heartbreak while you are in the situation that you are in, uh, and people are heartbroken that you are still going to be receiving your financial abundance, your spiritual inheritance, uh, and this is supposed to help elevate you, right? Someone or a group of people did something to confuse a uh, king of cups and this may have led to him making some type of horrible decision that has trapped him within something that he did not want to be trapped into or he didn't understand that he was getting trapped into so it's like this group of people coming together and telling this person a lie and he believes it so now he joins the bandwagon to sending you death magic and all types of magic and stuff like that until the truth comes out and he realizes that he was tricked um, and now he's trapped in something that he cannot get out of. It could also be that this King of Cups may be feel, uh, facing legal issues because of actions he took against you, against a high priestess. And he knows that you know what he, what he did, right? You may not even be talking to this person. You two may not even be in each other's energy anymore, but you know exactly what this person did and they have some legal issues coming their way. These could also be people that are stuck in some type of old mindset, old ways of doing magic, right? Just They're just so confused, but they think that they are the clever ones and you are the dumb one. Um, only for us to find out in the end that it's not what they think it is, right? You're showing up here as a high priestess, a star seed, and a queen of cups. You are absolutely beautiful and remarkable. You're someone extremely intuitive, someone very grounded and gifted. And then you're showing up here as well as the page of source, which means you don't put up with BS, you know the truth. And you stick to it. You don't let people confuse you. When people come to you with bull crap, you tell them to cut it out and move on with their lives as you should. Uh, so you're being advised to stand your ground. There is some type of laws going in, going on here, right, um, for this institution. 
This King of Cups is experiencing some type of loss as well. While you are standing your ground, it's like this person was hired or this may be like uh, uh, um, the head of an institution or someone is just high ranking in this institution or a, a, a firstborn within this institution. There's something going on here, um, but they are experiencing some type of ending, right? You are being guided to stand your ground regardless of what you are going through. You may be going through some tumultuous times, but you are being guided by spirit and your ancestors to stand your ground. They are protecting you. You are not going to be, you know, uh, uh, losing solid ground. You are okay, right? Things may be seeming a little dark and uncertain right now, but you are protected. You will be okay. There could be some legal issues that come out of this problem, out of this situation. And these people may think that they can go to the courts and just pay their way out of it, but that's not how it's going to go. Things will be sorted out legally. These are the types of people who, when there's, when there's a court case coming up, they will go and pay the judges, pay the lawyers, pay the police officers, hire a fake group of jury uh, jury duty people so that everything can go in their favor. This is the type of people you all are dealing with and you may not even know. But if you are a true star C and you put your faith in the, in the most high, you know things will always go in your favor. So do not ever live in fear of these types of people. These are weak people people these are weak-minded people insecure people these are people that have been damaged way before they had the option or even the chance to make a decision for themselves in life about wanting to be part of a cult or not because they were groomed into it little by little and before they realized it it was too late to get out there are people in this cult in this institution this enterprise this coven whatever it is that do want to get out um, but they don't know how to because they've been mentally groomed to be stuck, to feel trapped. So this is like an institution where you're working for them and, you know, they beat you down so much mentally that you don't feel like you have any other chance with opportunities outside of this institution. So you could be working the same position for 20 years and as a dishwasher or something and you just you know you're not happy at the job but you don't understand why you keep staying maybe there's like little benefits here and there so you stay for that for those benefits but you are not living a fulfilling life but every time you choose to leave something happens where you cannot and that's because these people do work behind the scenes dark work behind the scenes and for the few that do manage to leave these types of companies, when you go to your next employer, they will call those employers to speak ill of you, to discourage those employers from hiring you. If the employer hires you, they will call repeatedly to, to uh, intimidate those in employers or to encourage them to fire you because you are a danger to their company, as they call it, but it's not uh, true. This is just a tactic to make you feel uh, uh, secluded, confined, trapped, make you feel hopeless so that you can go back to them and get back into this toxic cycle with them. So this is how these types of cults, groups, institutions, corporations, enterprise, whatever we want to call it, operate. I've actually worked for an institution like this. And honey, the things I saw spiritually while I was working for their company, oh, Lord Jesus, I'm so glad I'm out of there. But this is how they operate. They trap people with them. They mold, they wind you, uh, mold you, and trap you. Okay? So when you start with them, they are all friendly with you. They are pretending to be nice to you. All their courtesy they're showing you is all facade. It's not genuine. None of them are genuine. They're all frauds, right? These are people that smile in your face and will stab you in your back the first chance they get. They never like each other, but they will group together to destroy a divine being or someone that is different from them because it is intimidation. It's, imida it's intimidating for them to see people that are better than them in light, in light. Um, people that are well-spoken, people that have morals. Um, so any type of skills you possess that they don't possess, they are intimidated by that. Uh, so these are people that will stay at the same job for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, not really learning any new skills. 
Um, but the moment you come in and you know all how to do all these different things, you're multifaceted and things like that, they are intimidated by you and they feel like they have to get rid of you. And they will do things behind the scenes to either set you up to be on a live, to end up in an accident, to end up sick. They will even try to poison you and things like that. So these types of people have no limits for how far they will go to cause you an ending. So just be mindful uh, with the companies that you are working for. If you're working for a company and they're giving you some type of weird feeling, you know, honey, start trying, to start trying to find a new one because the longer you stay with these types of company, the harder it becomes to leave, right? Um, so where were we? <laughs> There is a king of pentacles here that has been putting in a lot of work. This man could be putting in a lot of work um, right now and hoping that it's going to be fruitful in the future. Um, maybe he may want to connect with you, but this is someone extremely busy. Um, there's something going on with his work. It's like he's been putting in quite a lot of work. Maybe he's not seeing the benefits yet, but they will kick in. Or this could be someone as well for some of you that's experiencing some type of financial like. His money is stuck because he took actions against you that he was not supposed to take. So he's experiencing some type of financial stagnation at the moment and he has to make things right before he can receive his financial abundance again. So this was someone that was very fruitful before, um, but because he indulged in this activity with these people, he is now experiencing some type of financial stagnation uh his finances are put on hold until he can make things right with you right um someone here was guided to take a different path uh see like things from a higher perspective seek healing and things like that but someone chose not to they choose to indulge in superficiality they got trapped by the materialism it's like someone came and offered them the million dollars and they drank the Kool-Aid, they accepted the million dollars. Now they're trapped in something, having a lot of nightmares about something they did to a star sea, uh, you know, the plans that they involved themselves in and things like that. But the truth is coming out. There could be like a PI, um, someone authoritative that's making a decision to bring balance into a situation. So there's a whole lot going on here. Um, there's, there's a secret that is not being exposed yet. Or maybe these people think, that their secrets are not being seen or are or are unknown, right? But the truth is known. People see these people for exactly who they are. People that have spiritual eyes, these types of people, when you come across them, you see them for exactly who they are. They cannot hide. Uh, and this is something, sometimes the gifts that I have, they, they terrify me a little bit myself, but I'm grateful to have them because it's a protective mechanism that's the source put within me so that I know who I'm dealing with. But with me, I would know the truth about you, but I would never say anything on to, unless I really have to. Like you're really, really pushing my button. Like button. Like there's someone in my energy right now that I know accepted a bribe behind the scenes, but I'm not going to say anything to him. I'm going to let him keep digging a hole for himself until the day comes that there's a big revelation. It's like, sir. I knew the whole time what was going on, but that is your karma to, to take on. And little does he know the karma that's coming for him. So, um, there's something going on here about a couple that did something, right? They may have, they made some type of foolish offer, right? To someone to block your forward movement. This couple has been doing this and it doesn't necessarily has to be like an intimate couple. This could just be two people working together to block your forward movement, but they made some type of immature offer and partner up with a group of people to block your forward movement. So this is a group effort. These people have been working over time and over time and over time. You know, they say they have all the money in the world, but by the time all of this is over, they're going to realize that they wasted a lot of resources. They wasted a lot of time and energy, a lot of money, and they will gain absolutely nothing out of it because this is how the Most High has it set up, right? Um, so I'm sorry, my camera had uh, cut off a little. It was letting me know that my battery is low, so I'm going to have to hurry and end this. But these people are going to realize after 
all of this is over that over that they're wasted a lot of resources and they gain nothing out of this situation and they were never meant to gain anything out of this situation it's like you're doing something and source keep telling you don't do that stop doing that and like after the 10th 20 30th time source has told you not to do it you still keep doing it because you're determined to succeed in taking down a star energy and then source will just shut up and let you keep going and you keep thinking you are getting closer and closer to your goal until you realize you've just been building building and building karma for yourself and now you find yourself homeless broke unemployed and things like that and you look back and you say i should have stopped when source told me to stop why didn't i listen and you know you even have your ancestors telling you honey we cannot protect you against this kind of energy we are human these are beings that have been coming here since this planet was just water they have connections with everything do not do that but you don't listen you think you're the big bad wolf you know magic if you have to practice magic to do magic why would you go up against someone that is magic that makes no sense anyways let's finish this up uh, this plan to come in and steal from you. Someone may have even wanted to come in and steal from a king of wands. This could be someone you have some type of contract with. Um, it's just not going according to plan. Or for some of you, this king of wands thought he could come in and cause you some type of illusion. This person is exposed for exactly who they are. They may have interfered with some type of message that was supposed to come in to you. This person was supposed to send you a message, but they pretended like they sent the message or when they send the message, they may have taken actions to block you from receiving the message. So this is like a double agent. Lord have mercy. This person is experiencing some type of betrayal and it is well deserved because this person betrayed you heavily. Uh, this is someone that just, they are unsure of themselves. This is someone that is like really fiery. There are more so money focused for a queen of for, for them to be a king of wands, right? This is someone that causes a lot of illusions and things like that. But there was a message they were supposed to send you that they themselves interfere with, or they and this group of people interfere with. So you did not receive the message, and now they are experiencing a betrayal. Um, and that's on them, right? This is something that they deserve because this is how they're going to learn not to do this again hopefully when these people come back re reincarnate they'll be able to work some of their karma off but they have many many lifetimes that they're going to be incarnating to work these karmas off um there is something here about a child and i don't i don't know the specifics of this it's almost as though maybe someone was using a child to do something someone set up a child um i'm not sure what the specifics is on this child as you all know i don't really try to read on children because it makes me feel uncomfortable so i leave that topic alone um, but just know that your angels are protecting you. If you decide to go to the celebration, these people are trying to invite you to, you will be protected. If they try to tease you and things like that, let them get their laughs. You will have the last laugh. Okay. Um, so you are the truth. People, these people are watching you. They know you're speaking the truth. So they are doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your work. They know you are living the truth. They're watching you on social media. If you have a social media platform, they're keeping track of you through families and friends. Um, they are keeping track of you in different ways through neighbors, all kinds of ways. These people are going above and beyond to make sure that they have their eyes on you. When you're driving, you have people following you around. They may even have GPS on in your car, on your car. Your phone is being tracked. Your, your calls are being intercepted. Your text messages. Honey, everything. Everything these people have access to. And they want you to know that they have access to you at any time of the day. But in reality, it is an illusion because they cannot get a hold of you physically all they can do is pull up these little tricks behind the scenes and they are pissed off about that um uh, so whoever was guided to see things from a higher perspective um may not have um it is this queen of cups as well something was told to her for her to see things from a higher perspective and let this battle go you have been up against a queen of cups and you possibly didn't even know right but this is someone very money focused and she's losing something so this could be someone that was pretending to be genuine hardworking, nurturing compassionate 
pretending to possibly possibly be an empress which is what i just heard just so that she could get a hold of this abundance this inheritance that is yours but she's not receiving it she's having some type of emotional distress it's game over for this woman have a good day folks